Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to Vacation Vibes. If this is your first time at my channel, hello! My name is Vanessa and I am your best friend that gives the vibe checks on all the cruises and other travel destinations. Today, I'm going to do something that you guys have been asking for for the last couple months and that is a full virgin q and I asked you guys a couple months ago to drop all of your questions and to leave me questions in the comments for my entire virgin voyages Scarlet Lady Girls Trip series and you guys did that. So I know this is a brand new cruise line. I too had a lot of questions going into it and I wish I had a video like this to kind of help me out. So here I am to pass on my knowledge to you. Anyway, let's get to the video and we're gonna start with one of the most popular questions. What is the drink package? Do they have a drink package? What's happening with that? So it's important to know on Virgin Voyages, there is not a drink package. Let me explain really quickly. So on the other cruise lines that have drink packages, you pay a per day rate for the drink package. Uh, for example, you might pay $55 to $70 per day um, to get your drink package and then you get an unlimited amount of drinks. Now, traditionally the rules are, if you get a drink package, the other person in your room also has to get the drink package. You cannot share them. Although people get away with buying drinks for other people here and there. Don't tell them I told you. On Virgin, they have not continued this tradition. In fact, they created something of their own called the Bar Tab. With the Bar Tab, you can load up at the very minimum, $300 to start your bar tab. You can share this with as many people as you want. If you buy one, it's for the room and whatever friends you have on board, just say, hey, put them on my tab. So you don't have a bunch of wasted money and you can decide how much is on your bar tab, not a per day rate. So with $300, another question that I received is, how much money should I be looking to spend um, on this bar tab? So. I went on a four day voyage with Virgin and I had $300 to spend. It wasn't a bar tab, but it was onboard credit, which was essentially my bar tab. Within that $300, I spent $80 on my excursion, which we'll get to later. So that left me $220 on my bar tab. By the end of the four days, which I used it, and a few of Deji's drinks went on my bar tab as well, I still had $12 left over on my account. So. The drinks are not that expensive, although they are not included. Only soft beverages are included, but you have all the sodas, you have some teas and coffees that are included um, with the price of your cruise. Speaking of soft drinks and non-alcoholic drinks that are not included, there is specialty coffees, lattes, things of that uh, sort. There are a couple different places to get these coffees and they are not included and they can range from three to four dollars on up to like six to eight dollars, I believe. As far as free alcohol that you get on board, they do the free champagne during sail away and it's not just one per person. You can, uh, if you drink fast, you can get a lot. <laughs> I believe by the time we were fully sold out of Miami, we would probably had about five glasses a piece. So the next thing that I wanna talk about and I got a lot of questions on is the music taste and um, the nightlife. So I know, especially because most of us here on my channel, about 60% of you guys are carnival fans and there is a certain kind of vibe there with the music, with the DJs that you're used to. And you're concerned if you're gonna have the same kind of turn up moment on Virgin. Now, um, something to note is that Virgin is the same company as Virgin Records, Virgin Atlantic, but Virgin Records is really important because they have the rights to all of this music, so there is music everywhere. And they are very diverse with their music uh, choices. I do not mean diverse in racially diverse, I mean diverse in diverse. There are all kinds of genres, so I think you should go in with an open mind and just consider it a vibe setter. With that being said, Black people, I know you're watching and you're like, please get to what we came here to find out. Yes, there is R&B. Yes, there is hip hop. As far as trap music though, mm, you're probably not gonna find that vibe on Virgin. You'll hear a couple of good songs, but it's not heavy on the trap music. So sorry for my hood rats. I understand we wanna do hood rat things with our friends. Even at sea, we save that for carnival though. Okay, babes? <laughs> Um, there are there were many times where uh, Beyonce Renaissance was playing. Now we know that that was more of a house album, but it was brand new, which is really cool that there was brand new music on board. So 
that was a welcome addition. In Gun Bay in particular, the vibe the whole time was 90s hip hop uh, rap. So we heard uh, Tupac, Jay-Z, Nas, Biggie, all of the 90s hip hop, Snoop Dogg, all of that. So there's definitely a different vibes in different places of the ship. Go on with an open mind. You're gonna have a good time. Um, as far as the clubs, the clubs are popping every single night. I believe they started around 10 or 11 and it stayed open. I never stayed to close, guys. I was very exhausted. But I think 2, 2 a.m. is when it closed. Check me if I'm wrong on that. And every night was themed. So every time you go, it's going to be a different kind of uh, music theme. It is heavy on the house in the clubs. So if that's not your vibe, sorry about it. There was one night where it was kind of like oldies. Because um, it was like a Studio 54 type of vibe. So it was more like disco tech that night, I would say. Um, so just, again, going with the open mind. Going to have fun. Uh, you'll definitely find your vibe at different events or different spaces. Just find the place that feels good to you. As far as the live music, uh, the live music group that I saw was Solo Trio and it was um, they pretty much did covers for R&B uh, songs so and, and a lot of you guys said you vibed with that so that is available to you so I would not worry too much that you're not going to find the vibe you need. Is it going to be re readily available to you 24-7? No. But this vacation is for everybody not just for us so I think as far as everybody getting what they want out of the music and the vibes Virgin does a great job. For me I had a great time. I love music, all kinds of music. I'm a hip hop, R&B, in-house is like my wheelhouse myself. So <sighs> I was loving it. Mm. I will say um, the most ratched that the music got was probably at the pool party in Bimini. So, you know, if you're looking for that vibe, it's at the pool party. Well, let's move into some of the amenities I have questions about. Um, I'm just gonna talk about these uh, three questions specifically so this person said I heard they have really nice spa treatments they have a beautiful spa um, they have hot tubs cold tubs and all that it wasn't something I was able to experience myself our girl Jennifer did go to the spa and she did um, get a little spa package so stay tuned to her vlogs go over to her channel because she does talk about the spa over there I'll link her video down below Somebody wanted to ask about the workout um, workout classes. In particular, Shaniqua says, bungee workout class, is it a really good workout just for fun or both? And the activities at the Bimini Beach Club. So I did not see the bungee class. I don't think on my itinerary, maybe I missed it, but I didn't sign up for that, so I'm sorry. I can't speak to that in particular, but I did do two other classes. I did the cycle class and I did the 90s workout class. And I feel like the 90s workout class kind of falls into the same category of, is this a real workout or is this just for fun? Um, it was fun, it was hilarious, all of the like, you know, cheeky things that they said and everything. However, Deja and I got a great workout. We were definitely sweating. We were definitely looking for the water. So my guess would be the bungee cord class is a real class. There are classes like that um, on land as well that are very much real classes. It just teaches you um, a different way to, to move and to sweat and to get your heart rate up. Uh, the cycle class was also very, very good. I do recommend it as a cycle instructor. It gets my stamp of approval. And there are so many other classes on board. They are included. A lot of the cruise lines like to charge you upwards of $30 to go to their classes. This being a free uh, amenity was so clutch and all of the gym spaces, indoors and outdoors, were very beautiful. Um, this other person also asked about the group, uh, if I tried any of the classes, yes I did. And did I use the bar tab for the juice bar? Curious about the quality of both from your point of view. As I said, the fitness classes were very good. They, they do hire um, actual fitness instructors who have been doing this for a long time on land, not just on a ship and just learn something and now they're doing it to you. Um, so that's good. Um, I did not get to try the juice bar, unfortunately. Um, I, I wanted to go after a class, but we're on a time crunch. However, they did give us kombucha and ginger shots after the 90s uh, workout. They were free. They were just at the bar. You can just um, grab and go. Those are really good as well as um, some flavored water, um, kind of like spa water. So 
I would assume that the juice bar is, is probably really good if the free uh, drinks that they gave us, the kombucha and the ginger shots and things like that, were also very good. Um, I did bring home one so you could see. This is one of the ginger shots that I took after uh, classes. I wanted to show it to you. But anyway, if that interests you, these are the kind of things that you can pick up on your way out from your workout. Okay, getting back to a really popular question I got is about the food. Y'all wanted to know everything there is to know about the food, so I'm gonna go through the questions and pick out the things that you guys were most concerned about. So um, the first question, uh, something that I did not try, but Noemi and Alyssa did go to this restaurant when we went to the test kitchen, that's why they weren't there that night, um, about vegan options. Razzle Dazzle is the restaurant for you that has the most vegan options there. There are also vegan options in the galley. Um, all of the food is fantastic. I There was nothing that I ate that I did not like. There was nothing that I was just like, oh, try again. Um, so from what I was told, the vegan food itself was very good. Um, and you do have, um, I feel like you have more options for vegan food on Virgin than you would say carnival although they are doing better shout out to carnival with their options because in the past your, your vegan options were typically like the veggies and some indian food so you have more of that you have the like impossible burgers and meat and things like that so you have some more fun variety and you can actually feel like you're on vacation and not restrictive dieting uh, somebody wants my review on the Korean barbecue spot. Well, check out this video. That one's going to show you um, what we thought about it. It was a lot of fun with the drinking games. There's a couple to choose from on there. Um, you do get free soju to drink during your drink uh, during your drinking games. You do not have to buy that shot. It comes with the dinner, so that's really cool. The drinks are very different. Um, a lot of the, you can get a soju cocktail if, that, if you're into that. Um, I would say. Uh, our disco ball drink with the pop rocks in it it was interesting it was festive i probably wouldn't get it again it's a little bit a lot of bit on the sweet side i don't have a sweet tooth so it's fun if you like sweet drinks and i would recommend that you just be open and maybe just order everything on the menu family style that's what we did that's how we got literally the whole menu at our table uh, because you might not be familiar with Korean words, what they mean, or the different foods, so it's just best to try it all and see what you like and order what you like again. Um, as far as the test kitchen, that menu does change um, from what I hear. I don't know how often they change it, but here is the menu that we had while we were on board. It looks very similar to the menus I'd seen before, and you can always go on the website and check out the menu um, on virginvoyages.com and on the app. Um, a couple people asked me about the reservation process, so what I did just to make sure that we could eat at the same time every night, which the time that I chose was 7.15 except for on one day, which I believe was our day in Bimini, people booked out the 7.15 time slot very quickly, um, so we did 6.45 instead that, uh, that night, but um, I booked on the app, so you can download the app at any time after you book your cruise. Now, as you get closer to the cruise, the, um, things start to pop up and be available to you, such as the drink reservation, I mean, the, uh, the restaurant reservation such as restaurant reservations. You'll get an email letting you know that your reservation window is open, so I would go ahead and take advantage as soon as you can if you have a very specific time. All I had to do was add all of the girls as um, my sailors, so um, they were all connected to me. All I had to do was send an invite to them via the app, they download the app, they join as one of my sailors, and I was able to make a reservation and click on the faces of everybody that I wanted to be a part of that reservation. So we didn't all have to be at dinner together. Um, you, we also uh, booked the brunch on board because the app is a little glitchy sometimes. I wasn't able to book the brunch on the app. So, as soon as, so on the first day, I went to Sailor Services and I booked our brunch there. Now, I originally booked for a 11 a.m. brunch, I believe. Um, and then later on during the cruise, we decided that was a little too early because we had things we wanted to do that morning. So I was able to change it to 12. I was able to just text uh, Sailor Services through the app and say, hey, can I change my reservation to 12? They said, no problem. They changed it. It was easy. It was simple. So the reservation process is super easy. You don't have to do it super early if you don't really have a specific preference of time. And you can also just walk up and say, hey, can we come in for dinner tonight? If there's room, go for it. 
um, something worth noting my cruise was not full it was a little less than half full so it was really easy to get a reservation and probably in comparison to a full sailing and the last thing that you guys were really concerned about was they say all food is included we're a little skeptical is there anything that is um, extra price or an extra charge so all the food is included you can pretty much eat whatever you can see on the ship however on every dinner menu there is a premium protein of um, so for instance if you want let's say a Kobe steak something a little bit more premium I believe it's about $35 up charge if you want the premium um, meal I only saw one per menu the menus are very expansive so you don't feel like you have to pay more for the good stuff there's tons of good stuff none of us ever got the premium um, meal I think that's more for people who have something to celebrate or they just have the money and they want to get something a little bit more premium so it's kind of like how on other cruise lines you can order something from the steakhouse at uh, the main dining room and you just pay the upcharge it's something similar to that do not feel obligated you don't have to the food that's already on the menu is primo enough that you don't feel like you're missing out on anything so if you saw that there are a few food items that were an upcharge yes there are I only saw like four of them though literally four, four different plates as I looked at the menus and as far as other things that are upcharge the only thing you're gonna be paying extra for are the drinks once again they're not that expensive um, however somebody did ask me how much the cricket drink cost I believe it was $15.99 that was the most expensive single drink that I bought and it's probably that expensive because of the novelty of having crickets in your drink all the other drinks we bought were between I'd probably say seven and ten dollars I had a few people asking me what this experience would be like as a solo traveler. Well, you can kind of find out via Jennifer's channel. She is a solo cruiser, although she did come with the group. There's a lot of things that she did on her own. That's why there was that little running joke throughout the vlog that Jennifer didn't care about us because she wasn't at everything with us, which is totally fine. She wanted to show you guys what the solo experience would be like. She got a solo cabin and she did things on her own. She went to dinner on her own one night. So if you want to see what that experience is like, once again, check out Jennifer's channel linked down below and you can get all of the vibe check from her. Um, from my solo experience, I would say that this is actually a really great ship to choose as a solo traveler. Not only do you get the solo rooms, they're very small, but they're very cute. Um, you also have so many opportunities to meet other people if you're that kind of person. If you're like me, where you like to meet people out, um, there are so many different ways, there's so many uh, different games and events and everybody is so friendly I think because of you know the demographic that tends to come on a ship everybody is fun and open very open so it was not hard I met so many people outside of our little group on the cruise as a part of a group that were very friendly buying drinks hanging out meeting up so I would say if that's something that um, you're into definitely book that solo cruise on a flip side if you're an introvert I would say this might be also a great choice the ship is very large there are lots of places to have time to yourself um, if you are just looking for a relaxing vibe you definitely get this on the ship because it, it can be quite quiet without the, with the lack of children um, it is like this mood of like relaxation grown and sexy so if you just want to go and be on, on your own you can definitely do that as well people are very respectful on the ship um, even though they're very open I think people can tell when you want to be left alone and it is ain't no problem no one is belligerent drunk walking around crazy so you can kind of just have the experience you want to have and the last category that you guys asked about were the vibes um, so I definitely did a full thorough vibe check for this cruise ship so I want to go through some of the questions and give you guys some answers First question is, I'd be interested in knowing the demographics if most people on board are in their 20s, 30s, or older. I would say for my sailing, I would say the age range is a very broad, it was a very broad one. The bulk of the people I would say were between 25 to maybe 50, 25 years um, age range there. Um, I would, so I know Virgin, is targeting the millennial demographic which would be um, mid to late 20s all the way up to like 40 ish and I would say that 
most of the people I met are probably right there in that demographic. However, there are a lot of people older than that as well. Um, not a ton. Um, I would say that um, some of the people that are further outside of that age range might feel a little bit miss placed um, with some of the shows and everything some of the references that are made you might not be you might not know if you're not a part of like the internet generation um, there's a lot of reference to internet and just how life is these days so if you spend the majority of your life outside of the internet age you might feel a little lost in some of the jokes um, there it is also we're and we're gonna get into this it's just like more of a liberal crowd so people who are more traditional might again feel out of place so I think the what they're trying to so I feel like what Virgin is offering is definitely for um, a little bit younger crowd than I would say some of you know Hall in America princess um, celebrity like those cruise lines tend to be more comfortable for people of a certain age with that being said if you are young or young at heart you're gonna love virgin um if you're just not into you know the current generation or or the one before millennials gen x or excuse me gen z kind of things if you're repulsed by that it's probably not the cruise line for you how does the ship compare to other ships so the best way that i can tell people how to compare virgin to the other cruise lines is the other cruise lines are cruises Virgin Voyages is a super yacht. So you're really gonna have to dislodge all of the cruise experiences you've ever had on another ship and just be open to a different way of doing things. While there are some things that are always gonna be the same about cruise lines and cruise ships, um, Virgin really does take a different approach. So if you think of it like a super yacht, a little bit more luxe, a little bit more tailored to the things you wanna do, um, new experiences, and just like an overall feeling of once again, like a grown and sexy feeling, you'll be more prepared for what you're going to experience on Virgin. And everything being included, you're not having to worry about anything, internet, things like that. It just takes all of the, uh, the pre-planning anxiety out when you know when you get on most of the things have already been done for you and you can really just relax and enjoy your trip it also makes um, the experience of having to go to guest services a lot less I only really went to um, solidify my uh, my brunch reservations and that's the only thing I really had to go to them for which is lovely there was never a line at guest services I mean it was pretty quiet Sailor services, this is Virgin. So I had a lot of people say, I'm considering going on a vacation, I'm considering going on a honeymoon, considering going on a girl's trip, solo. Who is this cruise for? I would argue to say that you will f have a great time in any kind of way you, des you decide to go on this trip. The only, the only group I think it might be a little weird, not weird, but just a little bit, <sighs> It would be like a family environment. I feel like a family trip, you might be better off on some of the other cruise lines. <laughs> Obviously, you can't bring kids, so you can't you couldn't even bring the full family if you had kids in your family. So it would kind of take that be a takeaway from the family trip. Also, some of the things you might not want to experience with your parents unless you guys are super open. I told my parents, I don't know if virgins for you. Who particularly is virgin for? I will do a full video on that. So hold that question because I'm definitely going to answer that question. That's another one I kept getting like, who is this cruise line for? And I think I get it. I think I understand. And we're going to talk in full about that. And another question. <laughs> Are the kids out the room? Send them out. So this person asked me if you can uh, go topless with Pacey's, which leads me to another question that people keep asking me kind of offline or during the lives. I haven't really got this question in the comments, but first of all, um, I did not I did not check out the nude policy if there is one, so I don't really know how true that is. I will say that I did not see anybody topless with Pacey's on. Um, I will say that I saw a lot more revealing clothing at the beach and the pool party, things like that. The thongs, the banana hammocks, aka male speedo thongs, <laughs> um, tiny, teeny, tiny bikinis. I wore my tiniest bikini because there were no kids around and I felt comfortable doing it. Um, so, uh, and, you know, in places like the, the, the beach and the swimming pool, people are a lot more sexy. However, I did not see any um, topless tanning going on. I don't know if that's true. Now, 
you people that are wondering about the pineapple people on virgin is it a swingers cruise um am i gonna be accosted by this is it gonna be everywhere people just doing it over there and over here and all in the public um two things from my point of view um i saw none of that going on i was not approached by a couple um and i have been on carnival so it happens but I didn't feel uncomfortable around people. I didn't feel like anybody was doing too much out in public. I feel like every adult on the ship acted like an adult, respected each other's boundaries for the most part. Um, I've seen wilder things um, on other cruise lines for sure. Um, I didn't see any um, public you know, PDA that was like crazy or anything like that. Once again, people were very respectful of each other on a cruise, like more so than I've ever experienced, I would say on a cruise line, to be honest with you. Um, I didn't see any upside down pineapples or unicorn stickers or, or anything on people's doors. Um, nothing like that. Now, does it happen? Yes, it happens on every cruise line. Um, is it more likely to happen on adults only? Perhaps um, people might feel a bit more free to uh, pursue their needs um, in an adults only uh, environment. Um, I did talk to one of the crew members about this and she, she wanted to make it very clear that nowhere um, does Virgin say that this is for swingers, that they promote swinging. They've never put in any of their advertisements. They've never even made like a cheeky nod to it. It's not the kind of thing that they wanna advertise because that's not what they're about. Um, are they aware that people do that? Yes. Do they people do that on other cruise ships? Yes, it's part of cruise and travel culture. Um, so it's not that they're saying you can't come. They're just saying we are not saying that we are the swingers cruise. We're just adults only. There's a difference there. Um, and a, another detail that she did tell me, um, a lot of things have changed from when they first uh, started sailing to now. One of the things is some of the thing the amenities in your room. In the beginning, they did have a cute little box that had some adult toys and necessities in it. You could use it or you could leave it. It was kind of like a mini bar of sorts. Here are some things you might like or need during your cruise. $25 for this box of things and it's yours to keep. None of it's reusable. If you use it, it's yours. It's going home with you or it's going in the trash or whatever. <laughs> um, this is something that they still do have. However, you would have to go to one of the, um, the uh, stores on board to buy it. They do not put it in people's rooms as, as an option because apparently people were really offended by that. Uh, probably some of the people who are outside of the demographic is what I was told. So they uh, did not include that as a room amenity um, past the first couple sailings or according to her um is something that you're gonna have to seek out on your own so there's that and the no kids all of the things that i spoke about are affected by no by the lack of children um or people just under 21 really um i believe it's 21 maybe it's 18. I, first of all we never got carded for alcohol so i, I believe it's like 21 plus right so um when people think kids, they think like little kids, but also I think teenagers, in my experience, especially this past year, teenagers have been the most disruptive people on the cruise ships. Sorry teens, y'all need to travel too, y'all need to have fun, but they just have. They 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 loiter a lot, they're, they're loud, they feel like they're old enough to do certain things, so they, you know, they take advantage of that and sometimes they don't make the, the greatest uh, choices, so it can be very disruptive. You don't have any of that on Virgin. So it affects everything. Dinners flow very nicely. Um, the noise level is nice. You can feel relaxed. Things are very clean. There are not spills and, and stains everywhere. Um, the, the shows can be more adult in nature, very much adult in nature. You don't have to worry about, are there children in here, you know? Um, you, what people choose to wear is a different environment. It's just different and I can't explain it if you've never been in an adults only travel environment it's just a breath of fresh air I love kids but now I really could go without them on vacation after going on virgin because it is just a different experience and that's the vibes
Um, so that's pretty much the end of the Q&A, guys. I do have one more thing that I want to address. It's not about Virgin, but it is about my cruise. Um, I got a couple comments about um, one of my friends that went, and I just wanted to address that here. Um, as you guys know, Alyssa came along um, with the crew. She's probably the only person that you might have not met on YouTube, unless you're an OG of Vacation Vibes, um, because she's just not on the internet. She has, you know, Instagram and Facebook and things like that but she doesn't live on the internet she's a very very normal person unlike the rest of us crazies who document everything um, but she is one of my oldest and uh, dearest friends we lived together for many years we work together um, when usually when I go on vacation she's the person who takes care of my kitty children um, however she just uh, got pinned as a nurse um, just a week before we went on vacation so she had something to celebrate and we really miss traveling together if you can tell me what cruise she went on with me down below um, we'll give you some brownie points um, but she has been on my channel before on a cruise with me before and she actually showed me fun things to do um, on the islands because she had a cruise before I ever did for the first time so she is a part of my crew story. She's a, part, a great part of my life. Um, even though she is very introverted and very quiet, she had a great time, okay? So for my introverts who's worried about Virgin, Alyssa had so much fun. She's just not very, you know, loud about it, which is cool. She was definitely the balance that we all needed um, in our group, and everybody loved her that had just met her for the first time. She was roommates with Noemi. Um, and yeah, so I think everybody should just be a little easy when we're judging people on the internet um, because not all of us are redempticulous like I am, okay? like some of us have some sense and Alyssa is the person that has sense and we love her so boop all right that's it for me guys everybody stay tuned uh coming up for you we have some fashion hauls for vacation uh, we talk about what type of person is this cruise line for and we continue to get ready for a carnival celebration and inaugural cruise if you missed the uh, announcement that's the next one we have up don't forget to join as a member if you like to get some behind the scenes some bloopies from virgin they're all coming at you real soon and um, thank you to all of my members you guys are very much appreciated for joining um, become a best friend today, y'all. And that's all. That's all I got. I'm out. Peace.